2020 has been one hell of a year. Uh, COVID-19 has destroyed families, businesses, and our social lives. The murder of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd has shattered us and reinvigorated the movement. On top of all of that, our president has decided to make it all sting a bit more. So there's no question that 2020 has been a life-changing year for all of us. But has it all been bad? Last year, I was a successful business owner, happy father, uh, loving partner, and fulfilled in every way, right? Part of me is starting to doubt that now. You see, because May 16th, um, last year, my daughter was born, and it was the happiest day of my life. Um, that was on a Thursday. On Sunday, we brought her home from the hospital, and on Monday, I worked for 10 hours. And the day after that, I worked for 11 hours. The day after that, the same. And the day after that, you get the picture. You may be saying, that's kind of strange. Uh, what would make you forego those first few weeks where you get to know your first child and help acclimate your partner to this new role? And admittedly, it is strange. But to me, it made perfect sense because I'm a successful business owner, happy father, and a loving partner. Unfortunately, in that order. My partner is a stay-at-home mother. Uh, she cooks, cleans, feeds, um, loses sleep. Basically, uh, single-handedly raises our child and I'm a provider. I work 55 hours a week, and I'm happy to do it. In, uh, in a country where black fathers are constantly stereotyped as deadbeats, um, I jumped at the opportunity to be labeled a provider. Um, and my business allowed me that title and that pride. But in 2020, um, COVID struck and I lost my business for two months. Two months where I didn't know where my next dollar was coming from. And I was terrified. I mean, I started to ask myself all types of questions like, who am I now? And what is gonna happen if I can't provide like I used to? Um, and then the murder of, the very visceral murder of George Floyd um, really forced me to re-examine my place in America. I started to ask myself questions like, will making six figures in America um, protect me? Will it make me matter? Um, does America love me? And even though my business um, started to thrive eventually again, and people all over the world protested in the name of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd, I still pondered those questions. And as time went on, I drew some conclusions. No matter how much money I make, I'm still a black man in America. And for that reason, it don't matter. Um, America doesn't love me. And that pushed me to start to consider how I treat the people that do love me. So, does that mean money doesn't matter? Of course not. But never again would I choose it over the people who actually love me, nor would I let it rob me of I should say, 
nor would I let the pursuit of it rob me of my life. That is, my experiences, my opportunities, my time with my friends and my family, my daughter. So, can I provide? Yes. But I can also live, meaning I can travel. I can spend whole days with just my friends and my family. Um, and it should be guilt free. And for that reason, I planned a trip with a few friends and a few family members to Shenandoah to go hiking to a waterfall. And I needed that. It was amazing. And I plan to do many more things like that in the future. Um, but 2020 wasn't done teaching me through tragedy. Hey guys, so I just got some pretty terrible news. Um, at 5.30 a.m., my girlfriend Zoe texted me, um, you know, who lives at my mom's house. Um, and she, My daughter's there as well. Uh, she called me and told me that she had a fever and a bunch of other type of symptoms. Um, so she's on her way to urgent care um, to get tested for COVID. I have my test scheduled for tomorrow at 1.45 p.m. with Rite Aid. Um, so now I'm on my way to take Gray because, I mean, with her mom sick, there's really no point in having her there. Um, it wouldn't be any worse for her here. And I'm at least, say I do have COVID, I don't have any symptoms, so I could take care of her. Um, this is really bad timing. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just bad. I canceled 36 appointments uh, for the next three days including today, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, that's about close to $1,900, uh, maybe more, that I don't have for my family now. A, f a few thousand dollars shouldn't be enough to the point where you think about that before your family. Um, especially because I still had enough money to last me another year, I'm not flexing. This is a SBA loan I just got. So the point is, I shouldn't have been worried about money. Um, and I feel really bad for Zoe. I know that she probably feels really guilty, but she shouldn't because she's been the most uh, cautious one out of the entire family. So this could be something else, and I'm hoping it is, and yeah, hope. I'm just hoping for the best right now. I still had a long way to go and a lot to learn, and so who would be my teacher? Great. She would. Uh, so my life flipped completely upside down. No longer was I making any money, uh, but then to add to that, I was a stay-at-home dad now. I would do all the cooking, all the cleaning, all the changing, all the waking up with her. Um, pretty much all the stuff that I didn't show um, Zoe enough appreciation for. So was this my karma? Uh, no, it wasn't. But it is exactly what I needed. <laughs> I just brought her home. She's been protesting since I put her in the car. She cried the whole way. Um, I'm just trying to get her food put away and her set up so I could, you know, do daddy daycare for about three days. Are you getting used to being around your dad again? Here you go. <laughs> go, Gray. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just like any type of trash music. I'm about to attempt to feed her. She's been crying a lot. So I highly doubt. I'm going to use some reverse psychology. I'm going to be like, oh, you can't eat. But then I'm going to give her the food. She's going to be like, why won't he give it to me? Then when I give her the food, she's going to be like, mm, okay, this is easy. Oh, this shit, easy. Let's go. No, no, don't tire now. We're almost breaking the record. 
Ooh, dad and daughter record. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, let's go. Good girl. Good girl. You're making this so easy. Okay, I'm trying to put her to bed. She's eaten, walked. She's rubbed her eyes, showing she's tired. Ooh, I'm out. One forty-five. Are you taking gray? Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's awake. Okay, bye. All right, bye. Uh uh. Can you see? This is a wood chip. Almost went in the mouth, but I caught it. Yeah, I caught you. I caught you. Where are you going? Let's go. We're going over here. We're gonna go watch Queer Eye. Essence is what you want to do with your restaurant. This is like a Marco specialty, right? You're not gonna come up with an entire menu overnight. It's all about perfecting one dish at a time. You want to have three separate dishes. You know how to make your mango perfectly. Okay. You know how to make your salad perfectly. And now we're gonna add a third. Crab soup. <laughs> yeah, well, crab soup was something that was important to you. Crab, corn, chowder, Marco style. Apparently, she's too old to have regular blended food from the store, which is whack. So now I gotta do this. Tomatoes, blackberries, and chicken. Ooh, ah, ha, ha, ha. Hey, Gray, I'll make a deal with you. If you eat this food, I will put you to bed. Huh? Sound like a good deal? So I blended all these foods together. And honestly, it's not that bad. It just tastes like chicken, but a bit sweeter. So hopefully she likes this version of dinner. Oh yeah, it's working. I'm really good at this. Great, eat the food. Eat, uh, 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 eat the food. So we're about to go on our second walk as a unit with her, a backpack basically. Yeah, she's gone from two houses today. She's been on two long walks with the dog. I think it would help her have a good night's rest. Um, having this nice bath and playing in the water. Realistically, that's the sound she's gonna make before she's going to sleep. She just gotta cry it out. I'm gonna go downstairs and she'll eventually fall asleep. <laughs> it's about 6 a.m. This is the beginning of the second day. Um, I went to sleep at midnight, but even though I'm waking up this early, it's really not that bad. She um, She's pretty peaceful after having just slept. So we kind of watched TV for about 20 minutes and then I uh, got her a bottle and now she's playing with the remote. And I'm gonna make us some breakfast. I'm gonna do some boiled eggs and some, some toast and bacon. I think this is her favorite part of the day. She's probably gonna fall asleep. She did last night when we were walking the dog. She loves it back there. It's probably one of my favorite parts of the day too. 
So, Gravy looking dead while I wear this. Like, she is knocked out. And, uh, I mean, if I saw me walking down the street with her in this, I'd be worried too. I'd be like, can I check that baby's pulse real quick? But, yeah, this girl's awake. <sighs> I just got my results back and I am negative. I don't have COVID. I could uh, get back to work. Family safe. Thank God. <laughs> Cooking for your daughter is an experience. I've walked the dog hundreds of times, but walking the dog with your daughter on your back is an opportunity. And sure, working out sucks no matter what, but working out with your daughter makes it suck a whole lot less. Don't let me get started on the dishes. Nothing can replicate the feeling you get when your baby girl decides to finally take a bite of that food. And nothing can replace the warmth you feel when your baby girl smiles at you or passes you the remote like it's a gift from God or reaches out for you. Nothing, man, I mean nothing can match the sense of achievement you get when you finally get her to fall asleep. This experience is priceless and I'm actually grateful to 2020 for giving me this opportunity. Do yourself a favor. If you have the means, send your girl on a trip or let her do whatever the hell she wants. Have one-on-one -on -one time with your child or your children for a week or
or more if you can. And you truly get some perspective. Um, it is an amazing opportunity. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, well yeah, just thanks for watching.